This is the Oasis News Organization. Oh no. Today's report, putting the siding on this 12 by 12 cabin I'm trying to put together out of free curb lumber. Most of it is free lumber, but I did have to buy some. Now here you got where I'd left off. I'd gotten to this point by, uh, when was it, VD? I need some dates here. Oh, we started in April of 2019. Not 2019, 2016. Hell. It's 2020 right now. We started. There's no weed to this. I don't have a mouse in my pocket. I started in early April of 2016. And I got to roughly this point by September 7th of 2016. While I was throwing plywood up on the, the roof there, I came across those two big white pieces you see that are screwed onto the wall and they were three quarter inch plywood and they were four by four sheets and hell, they were just too heavy to get up there so since they were leaning up against the studs there, I just screwed them on. I had one more piece of that three quarter plywood so I finished off that run there, and that, of course, that's about four feet high. And here's where an off grid innovation gets kind of screwy. That top half, four feet by 12 feet, looks like some nice plywood, doesn't it? Well, it isn't. It's some stuff called Luon. All right, I'm going to educate you here about Luon. That's spelled L U A N. It's one eighth inch thick, comes in four by eight sheets. And in 2016, it cost about $10. Now, you've heard me talk about how heavy those three quarter inch plywood was. This stuff is really lightweight and it's cheap. And there's one more thing that if you put enough coats of paint on it, it's waterproof. Now this is early September and as slow as I work, basically winter is around the corner, which actually it starts getting kind of cool middle October, November. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, how I can cover this thing up so that I'll have a, a, at least a dry place for this winter. So if I have to, I can put a coat of paint on here and it'll get me through at least one season. Now look, you Onos, when you're out there on the off-grid by yourself, I don't care how much you Google, you have to make your own decision on how you're gonna do something. So I, I, I went with that Luon, put a coat of paint on there, and you see that old plywood up there, I screwed all of it to the studs, but all that old plywood wasn't enough to cover up the area that the Luon was on. So that's why I didn't use the old plywood where the Luon is. Maybe I should have named this, how to use Luon the way that the experts say you shouldn't. So you can see here that I'm screwing the fence wood onto the plywood because the Luon won't hold any screws, but it's going to turn out to look pretty good. You do know that looking pretty good is in the eyes of the beholder or how close it is to two o'clock in the morning at the bar. What's in your closet? The dude is in mine. The Big Lebowski, starring Jeff Bridges, John Goodman, and Steve Buscemi. I hope that's the way he says his name. If you like white Russians, smoke pot at some time in your life, then you will love this movie. You ought to check it out. Let's go over to the right side. Oh my lord, a whole wall full of Luon. 
But what I've noticed, not just down here at the Oasis, but anytime I start doing something that I've never done before, the beginning, I don't do very well. By the time I get to the middle, I've kind of got a clue as to how to work with things. On this side, I started off covering the whole thing with Luan, but I marked on the Luan where all the studs were. Put the Luan up there, put a coat of that fuchsia paint on there. Is that fuchsia? Then I put some tar paper on there, which I didn't do on the other side. And then I had some one by four boards that I used up coming up from the uh, gray picket fence wall. Yeah, that's right. Looking in from the front wall, used some more of that fuchsia paint there. Um, Getting everything closed in there with my glue on. And I'm feeling all right. You know, I, I might get this closed in for winter. In the city, there are gangs and they run around and they, they tag places. They put their gang signs on sides of walls. And down here in PC, there's a peace freak gang and they... They tagged my back wall there with a big old fuchsia peace symbol. Well, hell, that's all right. But I got that back wall in. I've got the left wall in. I've got the right wall in. And I'm looking good. I'm all buttoned up on three sides. I've got a floor that I can't fall through. And I've got a roof that... Well, I don't know if it leaks or not because I haven't been around when it rains. As you can see the back wall here, eventually this is what all four walls are supposed to look like, but it didn't work out that way. Vidi, hey, hand me those numbers there you ran. Let's see if I can get these dates right. September 7th, 2016 is about when I started putting on the siding. And about September 23rd, 2016 is when I finished. That's probably two trips, which uh, would be five days for each trip. Now, normally on a trip, the first day I unload the truck because I don't get down here till about, oh, 12 o'clock. And I not only unload, you know, food and ice and clothes and stuff. I also have a truck bed full of stuff to unload. So then I work. I do construction on the second, third, and fourth day. And on the fifth day, I pack up and I go out and play on the Oasis. So in two trips, that would be six days of construction at six hours a day. So I put in about 36 hours of work on putting up three walls. Huh. Today's report on siding and luon is dedicated to the band Spirit, the album, 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus. The song is Nature's Way. It's nature's way of telling you Soon we'll freeze. It's nature's way of telling you dying trees. It's nature's way of telling you in a song. It's nature's way of telling you something's wrong. By the way, you think them old boys did any LSD? Remember, Ono, oh world peace begins at home.